Howdy everyone, my name is Keeper. I am reporting to you live, sort of, from my hotel room at PAX South. So apologies for the camera and the audio and the everything. <laughs> I am recording this on Friday night. I just finished the first day of PAX and it was so much fun. This place is so much, I don't want to say it's bigger than VidCon, but it just feels like there's so much more to do for me because it's more geared towards my interests. So it's just, it's just insane. And to think that this is the smallest of the packs is just mind boggling to me. I did get to meet some people, some faces. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm pretty awkward in first social encounter, so uh, sorry. <laughs> I saw Gerbeagley today. I got to ask him a few questions about, uh, he, he's an editor as well. If you don't know, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He's a really cool guy. Nice guy. I've been, uh, I've been watching his streams recently, so uh, it was good to run into him. He answered some of my questions and, you know, it was all around really cool. I did see John Wolf. Um, for two seconds and then I lost him in the crowd, but um, I promised I would get a vlog up Well yesterday, but it didn't happen because I was still sick. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm Jeez, I'm still I'm sorry for the lack of content this last week I did mean to get videos up and I did mean to prep them for while I was away, but I had no voice I couldn't talk. I don't know if you can still hear it. It's still a little raspy, but uh, I am feeling much better I'm on a lot of medication so I can be able to go to this convention and talk so I'm don't think I'm sick I don't have any other like symptoms. It might just be stress. It might just be allergies I don't actually know. I just haven't been able to talk this last week I've just had a sore raspy voice and I meant to record this vlog um, If I meant to record this vlog on Thursday when I did you would have heard it better but um, it was just so bad. It was so bad. I just couldn't record. So I've just been able to get editing done, which has been fine. Um, I did have two extra videos of my own done, but in preparation for this trip, I didn't actually get to them anyway. Um, I actually just focused on, <laughs> I had a lot of other pre-work projects to get done and I want to make sure, like Bowling Honor had videos, I want to make sure that my laptop was set up so I could, so I could work while I was away so that they weren't missing anything. So uh, in all, I just, I just nicked my stuff and I figure, that's fine. I will put off my stuff for a week to make sure everything else I need to get done gets done. And next week I'll just come back swinging. I'll have my voice, you know, probably. <laughs> you guys coming to the channel, we just hit 200 subscribers. That's insane. That's actually insane. The fact that you guys are able to support what I do at all allows me to, allows me to go to these things. It just gives me that confidence to talk to these people, to go out there, to to better myself, so thank you. And I wanna, I wanna do what I can in return, you know, when I can talk. So I will come back swinging. I'm gonna get back on my regular schedule, my regular streaming, my regular videos. Everything's gonna get back to how it was. But um, last week also, the music video, I can talk about this now, for uh, Just Monica went up on the Bowling Honor Show channel. For any of you that don't know, I did the entire video and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. It's very simple in design, but actually like making the characters act the way it is, all the characters are in multiple parts. So it's, it's a little more complicated than it looks, but I, all in all, it was a lot of fun. And I was really happy that um, Matt allowed me to you know, do what I wanted with it pretty much. He had his idea and I just kind of took it and ran and I think he really liked it and I really liked it. I'm really proud of that. The music was also amazing. I'm not trying to take away from that at all. I just tried to make the video to, to accentuate that. I wanted to really bring it to life the best I could and I think I, I accomplished that. But um, I, I wanted to get this vlog out on, you know, Thursday, Friday. Unfortunately, I didn't do that and I don't think this video will go out until next week. Sorry, but um, I didn't realize how long these pack stays would be. I thought I'd have time to like be able to get my own editing done too if I needed to do vlogs or something, but um, it is already almost midnight after the first day. I am exhausted and I have to be up early tomorrow, so um, probably not gonna happen. I'm sorry. Plus, I'd have to use hotel internet to upload and uh, so all my energy is going into making sure the rest of my editing stuff is, you know, taken care of best it can be. And um, yeah, so it is Monday night. I have been sleeping pretty much all day because PAX is over. I'm still in San Antonio until like tomorrow night, Tuesday night. So um, I have a bit of time here. Um, which was good. I really needed the time to, to take a break and just sleep afterwards pretty much But this week I'm getting right back into it as soon as I get home tomorrow back to recording back to editing back to work So um, 
Looking forward to it. Back to streaming on Saturdays and Mondays again. I was even considering trying to stream today, but you know, the hotel internet isn't great and I was super tired anyway, so just bad combination of things. But I did want to talk about my time at PAX as well and um, it's just, it's, it's amazing. It really is. I didn't think it would be as fun as it was. The first day I got here, I got in on Thursday and it was kind of a lazy day. We got in early. I didn't sleep the night before, so it was kind of like today was. It was just a lazy day. I didn't do anything. But then early, early Friday when the convention opened, I was there. I was one of the first and I got in and it just, I can't even describe it really. I went to my, this was my second con. I went to VidCon two years ago. That was my first convention ever. And I actually have vlogs from around then. But PAX was kind of like, an amplified version and this is the smallest PAX which is weird it's like VidCon was big the, the, the VidCon was not small by any means in the imagination but it, it felt smaller because less of it was geared towards my interests like there were a lot of things I could avoid in VidCon but here at PAX where everything is games and like video games board games card games everything is my thing like I love all those things there's it feels like there's so much more to see and like all the panel well most of the panels are, are really interesting and like I wanted to try to do all the things and I kind of ended up doing almost none of them <laughs> even though I was I was busy the entire time but the first day I, I was on my own um, I didn't come here with anybody. I know a lot of people come with groups or whatever, but it's just me, little old me, coming to PAX and uh, enjoying it. But um, I just walked around the the exhibition hall and saw all the all the panel or not all the panels. I went to a few panels. Uh, I did all the booths. I played some games. I tested some stuff. Talked to people. It was fun. It was a good time. And then at the end of the day, I was just like mind blown like trying to take it all in because it was just so much and I felt like I'd only seen half of it it was insane the second day I actually got in a little bit later um, but I still did go around and kind of did the same thing but um, I was determined to to start like meeting people like actually the people I came here to see and start talking to people the second day I got a tweet alert on my phone for a meetup it was it was Kat Wynn and uh, she's great I did get to meet her and, and it was like, oh, we're meeting up here at two o'clock. And so I dropped everything I was doing. I was like, okay, this is my chance to find them and actually go. And so I did, I, I dropped whatever I was doing. I was thinking I was, in a, I was in a card tournament, actually. I was in like round two, but I dropped what I was doing. I went off, found them and just started talking to them. I introduced myself because they're friends of Bowling Otter, the channel I edit for. And they were totally cool. I did get to meet her and I met John Wolf. Uh, those, were, those were the other two I was hoping to meet. And uh, there were a bunch of more of them there, and they were all great people. Like I can't, I, I'm okay. This is no offense to anybody. I am just really, 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 really bad with names. I really am. Let's see. There was Gary, there was Jake, there was Sadie, Sino, um, Cat, John, Kimberly. Was that her name? Anyway, they were all super sweet. And, and really, really nice people, really genuine people. And um, I just started talking to them after, after introducing myself, saying who I was. And they, it, some of them kind of knew me already. Like they kind of knew that Bowling Otter had an editor. Um, and hey, it was me. They have a face now. But I, I just wanted to introduce myself so that they kind of, they could see like who their friends were working with. And so it just felt like the right thing to do. But um, I, I guess at no point did I ever think like I'd get to actually hang out with them, which was super surreal. And I, I feel like I kind of imposed myself a little bit because I, I wanted to. They were all cool people and I didn't want to be a PAX alone. But I was like, oh, can I join you for, for this thing or whatever? And I didn't want to come off like I was, I was trying to force myself into anything. So I don't want to be that guy, you know, but maybe I ended up being that guy anyway. <laughs> but no, they were super nice. We went out to lunch and then we came back to the convention center and just kind of rested and like just talked a while. And then we went on the show floor and it was great. Just like... I don't know, that, 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 the rest of Saturday and Sunday I got to hang out with them and it was just weird, man. I'm not a people person. I am not. Like, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Uh, it's just like, it drains me so much to be around people and try to like talk and be social and not be a robot about it. So I apologize if I like, 
If you ever meet me in person, if I come across as super awkward, it's A, because I am, and B, because it just feels draining to me. And I don't mean that against anybody. That is nobody's problem except mine. I am the flaw in that. It's just, I'm trying to get better. That's why I'm here. And that's why I went out of my way to try to meet and, and talk and hang out with these people because I want to get better than where I'm at. And it was super nice of them to include me in things. Like, I just felt like, I, I didn't feel like I was, I didn't feel like I was imposing myself on them. Like, it just felt like we were just hanging out. And that's something I haven't really done since I've started YouTube because I've never had friends that are kind of like into everything that I'm doing now. And I guess that's one of those things you don't really miss if you don't have it. And it just kind of felt weird that like all these people do what I do, you know, in, in a way or, or one, you know, one way or another, we're all kind of into the same thing. And that was insane. And I had so many questions for them and, and they were really nice to answer them and talk with me and just make me feel like a part of the group. And if any of them happen to be seeing this for whatever reason now, hi, thank you. I'm tired and exhausted right now, but know that you really made my packs. You really made this trip feel so worth it. But this isn't the only trip I'm taking this year. If any of you have seen my previous videos, I talk about this a lot, where I am traveling so much this year. This was just the first one. Um, PAX South, PAX East is coming up, and then I think VidCon is right after, and then Indie PopCon? But then I'm also going to PAX West, PAX Prime, and then I think I'm also might be going to TwitchCon? I can't remember if I'm planning that one or not. I think I am. So, um, and I think there, there's always one or two I forget. There's a Let's Play convention, I think, or a Let's Play Gaming Expo, something. And I might be going PAX Unplugged as well. But anyway, I always ramble too much in these, but just the position I'm in right now for what I'm doing, it feels like I, you know, I feel really lucky to be here. Like, you have no idea. There were so many things that had to just line up perfectly in, in order for me to be able to be where I am today. Like, if I hadn't graduated high school early, I never would have gone to culinary school. If I had never gone to culinary school, I never would have worked as a sushi chef. If I had never worked as a sushi chef and only been part-time um, instead of full-time, and then had extra time in which to dedicate to a YouTube channel, then I never would have started YouTube. If I hadn't continued YouTube, even through gaining more hours at work, I would never have improved myself. And then if I hadn't improved myself, after I had quit my job as a sushi chef, I never would have pursued work in YouTube and in video editing. If I hadn't pursued work in video editing, I never would have come across the odd jobs I used and the different sites I used to find work. And if I hadn't happened across the site that Matt used, I would never have found his uh, proposal looking for an editor. And if I had never gotten the courage to apply to be an editor, I would never have started working for Matt and Lizzie. And if I hadn't started working for them, then where would I be? So many things in life come down to one or two things. Like if something tiny had happened to change things, if I had started full time instead of part time, if I hadn't decided to do a YouTube channel, if I gave up on it after three months, if I decided to look for more work in the kitchen rather than, you know, work as an editor. No matter what you're doing right now in your life, just know that little things add up. And things that you never thought could be related, when you look back, it's mind boggling. Like. It just so happens that the little things you do that don't seem like the best thing for you at the time can really lead to something great. And for me, this is just the start. And to all of you here, any of you watching, thank you. Thank you so much for being here, for giving me that chance because ultimately, without you guys, none of us would be getting anywhere. Not just me, any, anyone on YouTube. You guys are the ones that choose to give us that chance, to give us that opportunity. So thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting Bowling Honor, because if you hadn't, then they wouldn't need an editor. <laughs> and thank you, thank you for supporting me and, and my friends. 
Can I, can I call them friends? They're friends. I'll call them friends. This is my dream. And baby steps, but I'm getting there. But before I start crying, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you for being here. Just ultimate, that, that, that's what it is. Just thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching any video. But I do hope you'll join me next time so we can keep on gaming together. Until then, see ya.